and then, then he's, he's here. Yeah, and and also what I kind of liked about that is that they play in like we know Godzilla isn't dead. Yeah. When he fell into that volcano, we know he isn't dead, so he's going to come he? back. And it's it's kind of like uh, like uh, Yellowstone National Park in the United States. It's not a matter of if it explodes; it's a matter of when. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I got out of that. Well, I mean, I mean, even Hayashida in '85 said that it, it wouldn't kill him; that it would just kind of hold him in suspense. And in the '84 version, they play more into it. Yeah, I mean, again, I haven't seen the '84 version. Like but, uh, uh, on the '84 one, there's like a scene where they're like, "Oh, okay, well, the issue is, if this doesn't kill him, then it will confine him long enough that we may be able to build a weapon to kill him later." Oh, they bring that up. That's awesome. Because then they build Mechagodzilla later, and he does kill him. Yeah. Oh. Also, I want to bring this up because I think that G Force is something that was never utilized enough in the Heisei series. Yeah. Because I think it's a brilliant concept, and it was never re-explored because it's just so awesome. It is. Um, in that there's foreshadowing to G Force in Biolanti. There is. That, yeah. That Gondo was the founding father of G Force. Mm-hmm. And that the whole reason that that um I guess he was a lieutenant the the oh no colonel the colonel who was the who was like the main military character yes he the whole reason I think he was like the founding father of G Force yeah and um my favorite shot in that movie is when uh he's he, the, the, there's that Godzilla statue yeah and Gondo's like sitting there flipping a book by the way I love Gondo he's one of my favorite Godzilla characters mm -hmm. and uh he's flipping through that book and you see the G Force symbol yeah you do before, yeah and I'm like wow. Yeah, I'm like I never noticed that until I saw Mechagodzilla two where they first introduced G Force, mm -hmm. and uh, it's brilliant. Yeah, it is brilliant, and I just want to bring this up too. My personal favorite shot in the movie is where, even though Akira Ifukube didn't score it, personally I thought the music was fitting, anyways. Yeah, but oh, I love the soundtrack. Yeah, and you see, uh, my favorite shot in Godzilla vs. Biolanti is uh, when you see. Uh, the volcano is exploding and Godzilla's come out and you hear Akita Ifakube score dun 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 you're like yeah the king is back that's my favorite version of that theme honestly my favorite version of that scene is to end credits to Destroya which unfortunately was cut out from the the DVD yeah the only the only way you can see that now is if you watch it on YouTube because they have this guy who has it I have it favorited I have it favorited because I was like oh that's just too kick ass yeah because there's barely any meth. Because after sorry, meth reference. My problem with the Heisei series is that once Biollante and uh and uh, eighty four were pretty much taken out of continuity after King Ghidorah, they yeah. never brought anything that happened in them up again. And yeah. then seeing them connected with it again, I'm like, oh, that's cool. That is, yeah. It was like a breath of fresh air. It was. It truly was. Okay, so that's really all I've got to say about Biollante. So so, I mean, number th number three is pretty much the same for both it's of us. It's the same for both of us, yeah. All right, so that's why that was so long, guys, because we both agreed on that. Uh, so, uh, how about your number two, since we both agreed on that? Uh, my number two is Godzilla vs. Destroya. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, let me just say that when I first watched it, I cried, and my parents actually had to calm me down, and I was like only like a 10-year-old kid, and I was like, I am bawling my eyes out. I was younger and I was I was crying too. And believe it or not, I didn't I watch it for like I didn't watch it for like three years, and then oh. I watched it again and I cried again. Yeah. Because of that music is so powerful. Yeah. And I love just how it tied everything together, and even took Emiko from the first Godzilla and put it back into this, incorporating uh -huh. the original even closer with this one. Yeah. And I just loved it, like. May I just say, like, out of all the monsters in Godzilla history, Destroya is my favorite because he looks like that goddamn devil. <laughs> you know, I have an interesting theory about why he looks like that. Why? Um, and everyone compares these two things. The death of Superman. Um, death of Superman happened about, I don't know, three years before they made this movie. Mm -hmm. And Destroya looks so similar to the thing that killed Superman, Doomsday. Um, he's got the bony things coming See, out of his I haven't, body. See, I haven't seen that, so... Or I um, haven't well, read it. Just, yeah, Google, Google them on Doomsday, because Doomsday, you can see where they got the inspiration for Destroya. Um, granted, the thing, the difference is, of course, that Doomsday actually did kill Superman, not... Do Superman didn't kill himself. Like, Doomsday actually killed him. Yeah. And 
it was the same exact impact that uh, happened when I saw Godzilla die. Because it's just that one moment where Superman falls to the ground or when Godzilla melts, that it's just like you, you, tears well up in your eyes and you're going, oh my god, they're killing my childhood icon. Oh my god, yeah. And honestly, now you might kill me for this one too because I know you love Final Wars. Um, well, not, not so much anymore. But yeah, it's, it's a good movie, I think. I thought Destroy was a way better finale for Godzilla than Destroy and then uh, uh, Final Wars. Really? Because I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't. Agree. Now, see, I don't you know. and I, you and I are going to disagree on a few things. One, I don't really care for the suit either. <laughs> ah! I don't like the suit. I'm, I'm sorry. Like okay. when I when I first watched it and got it for Christmas, I looked at that suit and I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Well, I, I, you know, the thing about that movie is that it's not a perfect movie. And yeah. me and Gorzar talked about this in the chat where I was like, I was saying how uh, it bookends it well with, with Godzilla leaving his... And that's spine. the one thing that saved the movie for me was that ending. Yeah, I thought the ending was brilliant. But the thing about the suit is that I thought it was brilliant because they made Godzilla look like the Millennium Series, but... They, they slimmed it down enough to where he could do the stuff that he was doing in the movie, and it still looked awesome to me. Like, I, I, can, I can understand why you have a problem with it, because, believe me, I was a little put back by... When I first saw that movie, when, it, when I got it up for Christmas, I was I had the same reaction. I thought it looked too skinny. I, I didn't like, like ah, Godzilla's I, face. I love Godzilla's eyes, but honestly, I thought the spikes think, were too yeah, small. I think all Godzilla fans will agree that his eyes are amazing in that movie. Yeah, which, in my opinion, uh, eyes can make or break a Godzilla suit. Yeah, I'll agree with that. And you know what? They got that from the Heisei series because they, they started out with the black eyes in Biolante. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then they, they ran... They, they ditched it in... Just, they ditched it in um, King Ghidorah, but then they used it again in Mechagodzilla 2, and then they never used it again yeah. until yeah. Final Wars. And it was a really good idea because I think Godzilla looks so much cooler when you can't see his eyes, and it, but only in close-up because it makes the eyes look more awesome. Which is going to... Well, which is kind of going to explain my number one pick. Okay. Well, I, I just wanted to say this real fast. Yeah. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to put Final Wars as my number two. Okay. Enlighten me because I'm... I, 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 honestly, that was the All biggest right. letdown. Right. Here's, here's uh, why. Okay. Because when I saw that, it was just the embodiment of why I love Godzilla. Now, granted... Okay, it's okay, no okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's nothing on Gojira. It's nothing on Gojira. But... It had not only the darkness of Godzilla being this destructive force, but it also had the camp, and that's why I loved it. Which, honestly, I can picture, like, if I have a kid, and I'm showing him, which I'd show him the entire Godzilla series. Even would you right... go in chronological order? Because I wouldn't. If you what? Would you go in chronological order? Because I don't plan to do that with my kids. Honestly, I would. I oh, would. really? Because I'm not going to... I, I have a whole plan out. Actually, no. I Actually, I wouldn't. I'd go the campy ones first. Oh, yeah? And I'd slowly get into the darker ones. I had a similar idea, too, but mine was show them uh, Gojira and then 85, then show them uh, King Kong vs. Godzilla, and mm -hmm. then show them uh, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, and then just... I, I don't know. Because I, th I think that um, King Kong vs. Godzilla is one of those things that uh, you have to see as a kid, otherwise you're going to think it's shit. Correct. Uh, and honestly, that's what my opinion was for Final Wars. Like, yeah. I was, when, the entire time watching it, was like, if I saw this as a kid, I would think this is the best goddamn movie I've ever seen. I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, um, did, I don't know if you ever noticed about this, but this is my favorite scene in the movie. Um, Mine's I, when he burst out of the iceberg. That's, well, that's what I'm gonna bring up. Yeah. Right before that, when those two guys are talking in that thing, do you know what the music is that's playing? No, because I haven't seen it forever, because I always skip over it. It's, this, it's the music from Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. And, uh, oh my god, it is! It's when Mechagodzilla first reveals himself. And I was like, oh, that's, go that's goddamn awesome. Yeah, and honestly, I was thinking about doing that in my movies, too. Give a little nod to Masaru Sato, because though I think Akita Fukube's scores are greater... Yeah. His scores are pretty awesome, too. <laughs> yeah, they are. Um, is Akira Fukue still alive? or He's I, dead. I, I, he died, he like, in the 1990s. Oh, because oh, I know he scored uh, Destroya. He did. That was his last movie. Yeah, oh, was it? Okay. Which... Well, that's kind of... 
That was Tomoyuki Tanaka's last movie, too. Yeah, and it was, I, I believe, quite a few people who worked on the original Godzilla movies died after that one was released, too. I, I guess that's kind of fitting. I mean, which, sad, which is but... actually really sad if you look at it. Like, their, crea their yeah. baby died, and so now yeah, exactly. they're dead. That's actually really, really sort of creepy, but yet... It's cool. it's also a shame that that uh, a couple years later they their uh, memory was raped, raped by Rowan Emmerich. Raped. Anyway, back to Final Wars. I wanted to bring this. I wanted to say this. Um, I'm actually one of the few Godzilla fans that really liked the soundtrack, and I know I'm gonna get. I do. I like the soundtrack too. Because <laughs> I because I, I, I've been got I've gotten hate mail for this too. I people have told me that the soundtrack isn't is is bad because it doesn't use a lot by Akira Ufukube. That's fair. They they, I don't, they only use the Godzilla theme in the beginning, yeah, and then that's it. But the thing is that it's so like apocalyptic and epic that it's fitting. It is, and and uh, and that's what's awesome about that movie is that it doesn't take take itself too seriously. It's just really awesome. I think it's a perfect cap on the series. I mean, well, no, no, it's not a perfect cap on the series, but it's a perfect uh, cap on embodying Godzilla. Okay, and I think. I think that if you show that movie to someone who's not a Godzilla fan, they'll go, I get it now. I know why you like this. I know I did that to one of my friends who said he hated Godzilla. He thought it was the stupidest thing ever, and I showed him the original, and his mouth dropped. And was yeah. like, that is not the campy man in rubber lizard suit I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, now you know why I love it. And now you know that it's not a lizard. It really isn't. Well, I mean, he isn't. A, he isn't. A, I mean, if you watch King Ghidorah, they pretty much say it isn't a lizard. Stop saying it is. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what also. I'm gonna go to '98 for a second. I want to go off on a really quick rant. Okay. okay. That shows why that movie is bad. No matter what argument you pose, that movie is bad because it takes a stereotype and makes it part of the, of the character. Oh yeah, Godzilla's a lizard. No, he's not. And then they just made it part of the character. They expl explicitly state in that movie that he's an iguana. And he looks like it, and they show it in the opening credits, and it pissed me off to no end when I was a kid. That's my rant. That was awesome. That just explained what I hate about that movie in a it tiny little Godzilla. paragraph. Yeah, it raped Godzilla. Just yeah. to sum it up in a sentence, it raped Godzilla. All I can say is I have a friend who was obsessed with Godzilla, and he's quite a bit older than me, and he said he cried in theaters because he was so appalled by it. Really? Yeah. I saw that movie in theaters and I was like six, and I loved it back then. And I was, if I if I could go back in time, I would go back to that moment and slap that kid in the face. <laughs> oh, anyway, so that's why I like Final Wars. It embodies everything that's cool about Godzilla, and it's not the greatest way to do it. I wish that he was the more main character. Like for one, I wish that they would have just done something with G cell with G cells. Mm -hmm. Aliens, really, really, that's the best you can come up with. Mm -hmm. Really, it's just an uh, update version to destroy all monsters. Yeah, I mean... Except I mean, that's destroy kind of, all monsters, I mean, in my opinion, had a much better alien invasion setup than this one. Well, I mean, that's true. I mean, explicitly Toho has stated that it's a remake of Destroy All Monsters, but the thing is that Destroy All Monsters wasn't called a Godzilla movie. It really it was wasn't. Just no, it wasn't a Godzilla movie. It was a Toho movie. And I know it's part of the same... God I mean... I mean, I, I don't want to say this because all the Toho um, show movies are part of the same continuity, mm -hmm. but everyone defends that it's a Godzilla movie and doesn't focus on it because it's in the same continuity, but War of the Gargantuas is, is part of the Godzilla continuity. I can so see that. Yeah. that. That argument doesn't stand. I can see it I, more in Frankenstein vs. Baragon than War of the Gargantuas. What do you mean? Uh, Frankenstein vs. Baragon. It originally, it was just supposed to be Frankenstein, but because of the, like, success of Godzilla and the designs of Godzilla, fight Godzilla, they wanted to have it fight Godzilla, but then they said no. Well, what happened was, of course, I'm sure you know this story, I'm going to just pretty much rehash this, but of course, they originally wanted to do King Kong versus Frankenstein. Yeah. I'm sure you know this story, I'm just going to repeat it for anyone who doesn't know who's listening. Um, they originally wanted to do King Kong versus Frankenstein. But uh, Toho was like, we want to use our own monster. So they did Godzilla versus Frankenstein. Then they went, then they um the people who owned King Kong were like, well, you just bought the rights to our character. You got to use him. So they're like, fine, we'll just stick the two of them together. And then they make King Kong versus Godzilla. Um, but excuse me, I'm I'm like I have a cold, so my voice kind of like is going in and out. But uh, 
pretty much they were going to do Godzilla versus Frankenstein in 1963, and that's why there's not a Godzilla movie in 1963. 